Hey guys, Grant here from dropshipsocial.com. Today, you don't need to be a web developer to have a successful dropshipping store. Let's dive in. All right, so when Clint and I started our dropshipping business, we didn't hire a web developer, I did it all myself. And let me tell you, my first attempt at a website was absolute horse shit. <laughs> I, uh, my first website I did on, a Wix, on the Wix platform, and it was a one-page landing page for an idea that Clint and I had. It wasn't even for a dropshipping store. And it was basically, it consisted of a image that I took in Thailand of a beach, Sorry, no, in Philippines, in the Philippines, of a, of a beach I took in the Philippines. It's a nice image, but all it had was an overlay of text over it and a button. And I couldn't even figure out how to connect the button up to, to make it do what I wanted to do. So that just shows you how inexperienced I was when we very first started. But, you know, since then, I've gone on to you know, work with the Shopify platform and uh, I've done... I've lost count of how many Shopify stores I've built actually and I've also worked with WordPress I've built membership sites on WordPress and it all comes from just chipping away at things that I didn't know how to do so I would look at what I had to do as a whole go through each of the tasks and if I didn't know how to do something I'd reach out on a forum or I'd I'd ask somebody in the industry uh, YouTube I've watched countless videos of YouTube and tutorials on YouTube on how to actually do something so if you don't know how to do something just put in type it into YouTube just that's all you need to do type it into YouTube and it will have tutorials on how to do it and you just follow them step by step it's that simple so I've gone on to do even click funnels I've worked with click funnels that was a completely foreign concept to me when I first started that too I'd already built Shopify stores I'd already built web WordPress websites and to go back and learn again on the click funnels um, platform it was different and it's not that difficult it's quite a good platform but it's it was just different to what I was used to so I had to sort of learn that whole thing again but my point being is you know people say oh you've got so many websites you've done this you've done that and you know you probably had web developers to do that. No, I didn't. It's because I put in the work early. When we first started, I, I went in and I done, I've done the tutorials on YouTube. I've, I've reached out to people on forums. I've made mistakes. I've built websites that were total shit. And I've got through the through to the point now where I know how to do everything because I've done it before. That's That's all. That's all it is. So all you have to do is... Just chip away at it, go go at it task by task, and eventually you'll get it done. If you can afford to hire a web developer, do it. That's fine. If you think that you just want an awesome website to be up and running, then do it. I've got no problem with that at all. I'm just saying for the people that think, oh, it's you know, it's easy for you, you know how to build websites. But no, I didn't. I didn't know how to build websites. I learnt it from scratch, and now I know how to do it. But that's just the process. So it's, it's quite simple. You just have to put in the work and, and eventually you'll get to the point where you, you have successful websites. So that's my point for today. Just make sure that you've got a good understanding of how the platform works and build on that from there. All right. So that's it for today. If you're getting some value out of the videos, give us a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. And uh, as always, come over to dropshipsocial.com and, and join us there for all the dropshipping conversation.